And a couple lone showers continue to occupy our live Doppler radar. One to the southwest of Everglades City and just a shower or two to the north of it. It looks like Marco Island, you will escape this cell. However, you might see some light rain as these continue to move off toward the west. Our forecast for the entire week is coming right up, so stay tuned. Ron joining me now in late into the evening, but we still have some rain out there. Still a little rain out here, but uh, it is ending, and we're going to do it all again tomorrow. It looks like the same pattern is in place for tomorrow. For the time being, live Doppler radar indicating two areas of rain. One well to the north, right here around the Tampa Bay area. Tampa, St. Petersburg, all the way down to Bradenton and Sarasota saw some really big thunderstorms this evening. As a matter of fact, the football game around Tampa was delayed for a couple of hours because of lightning. Around here, we continue to have a little lightning right there, just to the south and to the east of Naples. This is moving due west, basically, and it should miss Marco Island, this particular cell. Right now, Everglades City seeing maybe a sprinkle or two, but that's pretty much it. Everything is virtually quiet. So overnight, that rain will end. The skies will clear out, and by tomorrow morning, we're looking good. Plenty of sunshine. It'll be warm and muggy, 77, your morning low temperature, 87 by noon. A stray shower will be possible at that time. And then once again, as we saw today, the sea breeze will kick in, and we'll see showers and thunderstorms blossom. As far as our weather is concerned right now, very quiet out there in Fort Myers. It's warm, 77, 74 degrees is our dew point. The relative humidity, nearly 100%, 90%. Southeast winds are blowing at three miles per hour, so it is light wind out there. 79 right now in Naples, 76 in Cape Coral, Punta Gorda, 74. A little bit warmer in Sebring and Arcadia. Sebring, 80 degrees at this hour, so still really warm. Out west, this is where the cold air is. We are in that warm sector and there's an area of low pressure spinning right here over North Florida. That earlier brought in some drier air, but today what we saw is that East Coast sea breeze come across, ran into that West Coast sea breeze and right along it, you see the showers and thunderstorms explode this afternoon. Here's that dry slot of air we saw come in today that limited our rainfall with the exception of that coastal area rain. And tomorrow, I think we'll see a little bit more in the moisture come into the forecast. Therefore, I think our rain chances will be just a little bit better for today. We are looking at Carl here accelerating to the northeast, but this thing here is an area of low pressure working its way westward. As it does so, we'll see the clouds increase. It'll get itself going, warm, move over warm water, and we could have another storm in our hands by late next week. For tomorrow, Looking good in the morning, as I said. Mostly sunny skies throughout the day. By the afternoon, we'll see that sea breeze kick in once again. And then by about this time tomorrow, we'll see that rain end, just like we are seeing currently. So your forecast tomorrow does include a mixture of sunshine and clouds. It'll be a warm again, 92 in Naples, Bonita Springs, 91 degrees. Interior sections like Arcadia and Lake Placid, 92, 93 degrees along the coast, right around 90. If you are lucky enough to have the day off tomorrow and you're going boating, looking perfect. Smooth waters in the bay, one to two foot seas offshore. Here's that seven day forecast for the next couple of days. We'll see a few showers and mixture of sunshine and clouds picking up the rain chances into the likely category Thursday and Friday. And then maybe some dry air moves into the forecast next weekend. We'll have to wait and see on that, but definitely watching the tropics over the next week, Lindsay. All right, Ron, thanks.